Every year around the world, more than 40 million gold assays are performed by explorers looking for the next big strike. Teams go out to a prospective site, take samples, send them all the way back to a laboratory to determine if gold is present and at what concentration. While those results are pending, the exploration crew waits or takes an educated guess and drills some more holes. Not a cheap exercise. Yeah, I've been working in gold exploration for over 30 years now. And during that time, we've waited anything up to six months for results. You can't move an exploration program forward without results. When lots of people are exploring, the labs just don't have capacity. So without assays, we can't advance. And this is one of the labs where soil samples from mining leases are sent to be tested. It's a long way from potential strikes. But what if explorers could condense the labs down, miniaturise them, make them portable so that the samples could be assayed out on site? And that would dramatically accelerate the exploration process, reduce the cost and minimise the impact on the environment. That was the challenge put to PhD research scientist Mel Linton over a beer at his local. We needed to find a way of analysing gold quickly so they had the turnaround for those results. Not one to shy away from a challenge, the scientist turned innovation company co-founder began looking for a way to solve the problem. I was on the south coast of WA looking out across the ocean and ping, the light bulb came in and I just thought of this idea. Yeah, I was actually in a pub in Toronto and I went, wow, if that's true, that's a complete game changer. This will change the industry, it will revolutionise the way in which gold, gold exploration can take place. Mel's prototype was in fact the first change to assaying for gold in more than a century. We had to secure it out of CSIRO. We also had to um, mail to leave CSIRO and join us. We ended up testing it on over 30,000 samples prior to commercial release. We ended up producing a green clean solution to dissolve the gold and then also build a factory to be able to produce the consumables. All the machinery and processes are all invented here in WA. The partners formed Portable PPB to commercialise the innovation. Portable parts per billion. The importance of that is that we mine in parts per million, but we need to find in parts per billion. And the kit that we have is all designed to be very portable. It can go on the back of the ute or just go in a box and go out in the field. It's basically a case of coming back, weighing out the sample, putting it into a pouch. We then add a reagent. We're using something that's non-toxic, non-hazardous, environmentally friendly. We then put it in a mixer, we wash it, but essentially tumble it for six hours. We then take a collector device out of that, and then that gets washed, dried, and read on a portable XRF. Once the industry realised what this disruptive tech could do, the speed at which it allowed them to make informed decisions on where to drill next, orders for units came flooding in from around the globe. In fact, the innovation is so good that Portable PPB was recognised at last year's Western Australian Innovator of the Year Awards as the overall Innovator of the Year. And one of the reasons that it was recognised with that title is for the economic benefit that it brings to Western Australia by fast-tracking new mines. Gold. <laughs>